Shalom, Kahala Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Rokok Kodash, Dom honors my teachers, the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect, may the house of David be born again in this generation, and Shalom to the one third of Yashurallah, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but before losing our true heritage, we were known as, and still are, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about this false image of the person who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And we're going to talk about his true image and his true name. But before we get into that, let's read this. This is John 14 and 17. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. So recently, there's been a popular post on this website called Reddit, right? And if you're unfamiliar with what Reddit is, it's an aggregate news site, which for the most part is controlled by leftist fascists for the most part. And these are basically the, uh, the kids of Babylon the Great, man. This is where you get the, the majority of them that gather. Now, recently, this post came out here, which is a bunch of bullshit, right? But we'll go ahead and just read the title, and then I'll break it down. But it says, Portrait of Jesus Using AI Incorporating What We Know of His Ethnicity and Culture for Time and Region, right? And what you have here is basically an image of an Ishmaelite, a so-called Arab, okay? First of all, this does not uh, <laughs> coincide with the description given of the Messiah when you read Revelations, right? Verse 1, right? chapter uh, 13, right? This is uh, somebody who has been made up, right? Because we all know that for the longest, for centuries, You've had this devil here on the left being pushed as the image of the Messiah, right? And ultimately, this is the uh, the uplifting of Edomite supremacy, right? So-called Caucasian supremacy, right? But this image no longer lulls the masses to sleep, right? Everybody understands that the Caucasians weren't in the so-called Middle East around 30 3 BC or 33 AD, excuse me, right? They understand that he couldn't have looked like this, right? And everybody understands this is somewhat of an American Jesus, right? The image that has helped to perpetuate this uh, Edomite supremacy across the world, right? There's even a, a, a video, a scene from a sh show called Goodbye Uncle Tom that talks about this. Now, these devils not trying to point to the true image of the Messiah now they're starting to push out images like this of this guy right all right let's see what people are saying right because a lot of people aren't even buying this shit though but though this is a convenient lie for the masses right people are saying it looks like my buddy a thief right uh, it says that's no that's my neighbor I mean he's really chill <laughs> look at this man see Excuse me, sir, but you have been randomly selected for additional screen, screening, right? So you see, people understand that this right here image is a so-called uh, Arab, man, right? This is not what a Judite looks like, man, right? And everybody out there believes that the so-called Jews over in the land of Israel today are the Judites of the Bible, but that's false, right? Because they also do not fit the descriptions or the prophecies written in the Bible. Right? But, you know, this isn't the first time that these devils have done it, right? As far as changing the images and depictions of the people in the Bible, right? It's actually recorded here in 1st Maccabees that's, that shows that these devils have tried to paint their own images, their own likenesses into our, you know, Holy Bible, right? This is 1st Maccabees 3 and 48. And laid open the book of the law, which is the Bible, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images, right? So you see, this is why you have so many 
false Bibles and so many different uh, interpretations and different uh, versions, right? Because you see these devils in an attempt to, to sway and modify the, the word of the Lord, they've done things like this. They've sought to paint their likeness, their images, their own story into the Bible. And why is that? Because when you get into what the Holy Bible actually is, it is a book only meant for uh, the Israelites, right? It was written by the Israelites, for the Israelites, and still till today, it's only to the Israelites, which today would be we would be known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? And anybody whose father's lineage goes back to that bloodline. Well, let's go and read what the true depiction of the Messiah is, right? Not going off of AI and what do they say? These bullshit claims incorporating what we know of his ethnicity. And that's bullshit, man. Because when you get into the Josephus, you get into the Bible itself, it tells you, man, that the ethnicity of the people in there were dark skinned people, right? They were black onto the ground. Their skin was like grass as if it were burnt in the furnace, right? A lot of people understood that the, that the people in this land were so-called Negroes, okay? But again, let's just read the Bible and let's go to the depiction of the one that the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, whose true Hebrew name is Yahweh Shai, which is Hebrew for He is Salvation. Well, let's read. This is Revelation 1 and 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, right, this is the menorah, one like unto the Son of Man, right, basically John seen the Messiah, right, Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot and a girt about the paps with a golden girdle, right? His head and his hairs, right? The top of his head, his hair on the top of his head, and his beard were white, like wool. So it was white and it was like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now we understand when it says flame of fire, he didn't literally have, you know, flames in his eyes. Now, what this ultimately meant. This is a prophecy that said that the Lord, that his eyes would be red with wine, right? When you drink a lot of wine, right, your eyes are always going to be bloodshot, man. And that's ultimately what the what was going on with the Lord. Because you see, the Lord was vexed with all the things that were going on, right? With the things that he knew he was have, would have to do. That whole Hollywood depiction of the Messiah being a soft-spoken man, walk, you know, gliding everywhere he went, and being soft-spoken and always looking like he's ready for his you know glamour shots that's a false depiction right the, the messiah Yahweh shai who the world ignorantly calls jesus christ was a real man right he had real problems he had stress he had all these things man right it tells you man that the lord was vexed right in the garden of gethsemane he was praying and and he weeped and he was and and he was hoping that the lord would, would take uh, you know his path away from him you know because he didn't want to have to go through what he wanted to right but what he do he you know he sucked it up and he went through with it man right he also dealt with mass multitudes of our people who were just ignorant man couldn't get it didn't understand what was happening right he was dealing with wicked pharisees and sadducees that were, were corrupting the word using the, the temple of the lord as a, as a you know a market the lord was vexed all the time and he would drink right and hence his eyes would, would be bloodshot and that's what this flame of fire means now here's the point and his feet like onto fine brass as if it, if if they burnt in a furnace right and his voice as the sound of many waters now let's go ahead and focus on this part right his feet with the color of fine brass as if they burnt in a furnace okay now i want you to you know picture somebody right picture somebody's feet now does does a person's feet match the rest of their skin color or is it a totally different color right and no the lord didn't go walking through dirt or mud like these other you know devil christians will try to say no, man, this is this color of the Messiah's skin, right? Let's take a look at what 
fine brass looks like, right? So his feet, there you go, right? They had this type of patina to it, right? A dark brown, right? And when you burn brass, right? This is a burnt brass lantern. This is the color of what burnt brass looks like, okay? And when you get into his hair being like wool, right? This is what it looks like, right? This is what the Lord's hair would resemble, right? Not this, right? Not this stringy, you know, brown hair, right? He didn't have, you know, this type of, uh, you know, beard that looked like, uh, you know, not like wool at all, right? And this is not fine brass burnt in, in, a, in a furnace, man. This is light, light brown, right? A light, you know, what would you call this, man? Like dark, you know, dark skin, right? But basically looking like a, like a Latino skin, man, right? This is a, a standard Ishmaelite skin, man. But you see these devils, what they'll do is they'll lie and they'll you know make up depictions and everything because why because they're ultimately trying to hide the truth well, what is that truth the truth is is that the messiah was a so-called negro he was a man uh, of, of color right and this is more of a depiction of what he would actually look like right uh, a so-called you know black guy right and this is what the world does not want the rest of the un unlearned masses to learn is that the the so-called Negroes are in fact the true Jews of the Bible right that they who have had uh, the downtrodden luck that they've had for the last hundreds of years right the, the continual slavery the the being uh, refugees in the land of Africa right these the Negroes that are here in America today they didn't come from Africa they were refugees in Africa and they were taken as slaves sold in by their enemies, the, the true Africans, the Hamites, as they refer to in the Bible, and they were sold to the Arabs or the Edomites, right? Because again, you had the sub-Saharan slave trade, man. You had a lot of Arabs and Hamites, right? The, that would basically capture Judah on the west coast, and basically all over Africa, right? And then they would basically take them to the to the ports to sell them, right? And who was the number one buyer of, of Judah? Well, the Edomites, the so-called Caucasian race. This is why you have uh, the so-called Negroes all over here in America, man, because they were brought here in slavery, fulfilling Deuteronomy 28, 68, that the Lord would bring the, the Israelites back uh, in bondage by ships, right? Back into Egypt by ships, right? He did this to the Southern Kingdom, right? And the, the so-called Negroes, and he did this to the Northern Kingdom, the so-called Latinos and Native Americans, man. Right, because again, the Native Americans, the Latinos and the, and the Indians, they came over here on ships around 700 BC, right? When they decided to come to the unknown lands to try to keep their laws. Now, when we got here, you know, you know, it's you know, it's unknown for sure, but you know, going into to alternate sources, the the Mormon Bible, for example, right, and also Indian legend. Right, whatever has been, you know, survived from the destruction from the Spaniards, you know, we we lived in a, in a you know, Eden-like, uh, you know, existence. But then it ultimately uh, devolved into what the Spanish found when they came here. Man, we were sacrificing each other, worshiping demons, right? And ultimately, it led to to our enslavement, right? So us, Northern Kingdoms, Latinos and Native Americans, we followed suit. You know, or I'm sorry, the Southern Kingdom followed suit after us, the Northern Kingdom, man. We both went into slavery here in the Americas, right? And we are going to be here under under this captivity until the Messiah, this man you see here, returns, right? And again, it's not only the Messiah that has this image, right? Because again, this is more of a, a true depiction of what the Messiah would look like, right? Having a, a garment, a barrel, right? Barrels of, of, of like a particular color of green, right? With the golden girdle around around his uh, his uh, like stomach areas. This is basically a war war girdle, right? Coming on that white horse. That white horse represents the, uh, what the world will call a UFO, right? 
And again, this isn't the only depiction of a so-called black Jesus, right? Because when you look at history, right? Uh, here it says, true depiction of Israel, right? Here are, the. Uh, this is from a, uh, a painting in a church in Russia called the Cathedral of the Annunciation in Moscow, right? When you look at the uh, depictions, here, let's actually zoom in, you can see the pictures of all the saints, all the the um, all the people, right? All the people in the Bible are all so-called black people, man. All so-called Negroes. And why is that? Well, because the the Bible is written about the Negroes, man. Look at this, right? King David, right? Look at these people here, man. These are all so-called Negroes, okay? And this image here. Is, a, is an image of the Lord like it tells you here in Solomon wisdom of Solomon 3 and 1 but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God and there shall no torment touch them right and you see that the, uh, the brother Tazadak uh, brought this uh, this uh, image out of, of, of I think last week right or two weeks ago man but this is an image from the Russian icons man and how did these images get into this uh, Russian Cathedral well you see back in the days right back in Moscow or back in the day Moscow here this used to be an area around here was basically the Holy Holy Roman Empire was right here right and the uh, the Rush which were basically up up in this area here you know they basically followed followed them and they were a Christian or a Christian nation man and they understood that the so-called Negroes were the Israelites, right? This is why they paid them veneration and honor, right? Because again, you got, you had the, uh, down here, you had the uh, Byzantine Empire, which was the uh, Eastern Roman Empire after it split. And then you have the Holy Roman Empire, which was over here, you know, modern day Germany, right? Which was, or over around this area here, right? This is where the Holy Roman Empire was that eventually migrated uh, west to Spain, right? And by the time, that Christopher Columbus, you know, started sailing and he got all the money from Spain and the Queen of Spain. Those were the remnants of the Western Roman Empire, man, the Holy Roman Empire, right? But again, these were all so-called Negroes, but by that time, they had mixed with other nations and they had become what you would refer to as a mulatto, right? People, you know, basically people who were mixed with, with uh, you know, Negro and Caucasian and all these different type of races, man. And you had uh, what you would basically like, they would look like the Puerto Ricans for the most part, right? That's what, that's pretty much what the uh, people at the time of the, the uh, Middle Ages, the Dark Ages, would look like, man. But again, when you go back to the Russian icons, right, you see the Israelites, right, being depicted as so called Negroes, right? And that is because the Negro are the Israelites. Of the Holy Bible, right? This is the president of Egypt talking about the depiction of, of the uh, Israelites, man. Because you see, again, this is not a, a secret, right? This is a worldwide, you know, hidden secret. I guess you well, maybe it is a secret, right? It's a, it's a, it's a secret, you know, to to the majority of the world. But there's a lot of people who know it, like this man here, right? It says, it says. The war for Israel says when he was asked about peace in the Middle East, the late president of Egypt, Gamal Abdel Nasser, stated the Jews will never be able to live here in peace because they left here black but came back white. Right? And this is in, in regards to the so called uh, Jews who, or the Israelis who are living in the land of Israel too, man. People, all the Arabs around there, the ones that haven't been sold out. Or infiltrated they understand that the people in the land of Israel today are not the the Israelites or the Jews of the Holy Bible man this is Matthew 24 and 30 and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory 
You see, the reason why the world is going to be mourning is not only is it going to be an incredible sight to see a, a, a vast armada of so-called UFOs coming in, in from space, but also people are going to see that the Messiah is a so-called black man. They're going to see that he's not some pasty, white-skinned Caucasian or some freaking, you know, uh, you know, nice-looking Arab and stuff, some, you know, benevolent all loving can never get mad ishmaelite no man people are going to realize that this whole time that they've been worshiping a false god they've been worshiping one of uh, these images man right and and it's because the world right now it does not have a spirit of truth in it man it is being led by the devil the devil has misled many people right to the point where you know the people who actually look into it who actually study the bible who want to learn the truth who want to try to do the best they can to you know save themselves in, in these end days they're going to find out that the, that the true israelites are negro latinos native americans plain and simple we fit the prophecies our history declares it you know it, it's just the truth right now the people who are just going willy-nilly thinking that they got this in the bag and you know that when the day comes they're just going to fall to their knees and repent and then they'll be all good no because what's going to happen is they're going to realize that everything they've known about the bible or what they think they know about the bible is false it's lies right and ultimately this is going to be a big deception and the reason why the world all the tribes of the earth shall mourn right because it's going to be a terrible day for these devils out here who are who are posting shit like this right saying that this is what the Lord looks like, that AI has put it together and all this bullshit. But this is a fucking lie. This is blasphemy, man. To say that the that the Messiah, right, the man of, a, of the tribe of Judah, and the Judites and the true Jews look like freaking Arab, man. This is this is a, a, an abominable lie that these devils perpetuate, man. But I just wanted to get into this document. I wanted to, you know, you know, address this this blasphemous post right and show man this is the true depiction of the one who the world ignorantly calls jesus christ whose true hebrew name is yahweh shai which is hebrew for his salvation so with all that i want to give all praises and honor and glory to yahweh bashem yahweh shai bashem double honors my teachers the apostles and elders of great millstone peace and mercy to the elect shalom